Johnny Green here with another backyard review for the Higher Things Club. Today was dispensary day for me, which is always a fun time. Scored two ounces of flour and a couple of these new types of gummies. Expect to see a review of these gummies in the near future. But the focus for today's episode is this Buddy's Convertible Pocket Dabber device. I was chatting with the bud tender about this YouTube channel and he recommended this Buddy's device. For those that don't know, Buddies is a company that makes a number of different cannabis products, including concentrates and cartridges. I'm not sure if this is their first device for consuming concentrates, but it's certainly the first Buddies gadget that I've personally seen. Back of the box has the details, glass mouthpiece, magnetic dab adapter, the 510 thread for cartridges, and that we'll get into that here in a minute. Of course, the battery and the charger. All right, let's unbox this thing. Other than the instructions, basically three things in here. Dab tool, pretty standard for any dabbing device. Of course, the battery, which is also standard, but this is what we're ultimately here to discuss. So pretty tiny, definitely discreet. As listed on the box, you have the glass mouthpiece, comes off, snaps back together magnetically, which is pretty cool. And then if you look inside of that actual dab chamber itself, we'll try to zoom in here and see if you can see there's coils that are in there. And those coils heat up, glob of dabs on them, of course twists off. It's a ceramic chamber, but those are some type of metal coils. Anyhow, screws on there. If you look, eventually those coils heat up. So my best friend Jay and I used to rock these types of devices years ago. And I know that putting a glob of dabs on those coils will yield some of the biggest on the go dab hits possible. But unlike those pins of old, this one also is threaded for standard cartridges too. I mean, the bottom part is basically like any standard vape pen battery, but a decent one. It's a big difference and a big upgrade from the pens that me and my best friend used to use. You may be wondering how much this cost. I was able to buy this device for $21 at my local dispensary. I'm not sure how much they are elsewhere, but that's how much I paid for this one, which, assuming it works well, that's a solid deal in my opinion. As far as the button functionality itself, five presses turns it off, one, two, three, four, five turns it on, three presses will change the setting, green being the lowest, and blue being medium, red being high, and of course the pre-warming cycle. Decent vape pen battery costs around 10 to $15 in itself, but if you can also take dab hits out of this little thing on the go, that's well worth the extra money. And on that note, let's go for a test drive. Decent sized glob in there. My vape pen standards anyhow. Let's give it a go. As I expected, the dabs on those coils produce an extra beefy cloud. I haven't had a pen do that to me in years. The flavor doesn't come through as well with these coils compared to like some ceramic chamber ones, Puffco and whatnot, but at $21, it's tough to beat. Definitely good in a pinch. About the only drawback on this device that I can think of is when it comes to cleaning it, and that's largely based on my experience in the past with other coil-based devices. I don't normally submerge these chambers in rubbing alcohol, but that is what I will probably do when the time comes. At least then, if there's an issue, I could still use the battery. I also imagine that you'll be able to buy these chambers on their own for replacement purposes. If you're looking for an affordable way to dab it up, I definitely recommend these Buddy's convertible devices. They're good for dabs and for cartridges, as you can see in this video, so if you're into that sort of thing, buy with confidence if they sell them in your area.